And on June 23rd, 2017, I just happened to roll into the town of Bloomer, Wisconsin. So I thought a little investigation was necessary, so I uh, stopped and uh, unpacked the old drone here and decided to uh, warm up the jets and uh, take it for a little flight. And I will admit this is not exactly the flight pattern I had in mind when I took off, but this is just how it turned out. So we'll just sit back and relax and kind of go with that. That's one nice thing about uh, being flexible. Things don't always have to go as planned, and that's just fine. So it's about 67 degrees out, and uh, it is pretty windy. But the wind is not uh, strong enough to affect my flight at all. And so I'm just going to fly around a little bit here without any pattern or any method of madness to where I'm going. Normally I'll pick out a main street and kind of fly down that and uh, kind of circle the town or... But evidently this flight here, I just close my eyes and go somewhere. Uh, Bloomer's a nice little town. Uh, during the summertime, uh, when I was riding my motorcycle, uh, Bloomer used to be a destination uh, to come and get something to eat. It was a nice little ride from Eau Claire to Bloomer. And I'm loving the cooler temperatures, too. With that breeze, it is really nice. Everything's nice and green. We've been getting plenty of rain. I see crops are coming up in the field. And now we'll go up in altitude a little bit. And now I'm spying the church there, so I'm thinking it's time to take a little flight down the main street. We're going to put a little organization into this flight now. Yeah, 
we'll bring it down a little bit and take a peek at this church here I love buildings like this they have a lot of character Uh, it looks like this might be in the shadow. The sun isn't at quite the right angle, but you can't hit a home run every time. But we can continue on down the road. It's kind of funny when you look at gas stations from up in the air, those canopies. Uh, they aren't as pretty on the top as they are in the sides and the bottom. But it's kind of interesting to look at the structure. And there's a few cars moving around on a Friday. And now we're going to turn down this road here. I believe that might be the fire department right below us there. And this road's going to take us right out to uh, Highway 53, uh, going north and south. And it's time to go back up in the air to keep a nice strong signal. So we're going to climb her up to about 400 feet here. And we're going to make it all the way to the uh, McDonald's here. At Bloomer Ford, which is where I bought one of my vehicles, bought a Ford Fusion. Very nice people, very nice people to deal with, very low pressure sales. Unfortunately, it didn't go very good in the snow and uh, ended up trading it in for a Subaru Outback. And now we're going to head back. But the Fusion was a nice car in the summertime. But I was going to get down to one vehicle. I sold my truck, and so uh, I needed something that would go through the snow. And uh, the Outback does an excellent job.
and we'll kind of swing around here to kind of start preparing to land. So I would have to say this is probably not the most organized flight that I've ever done, but it still is nice. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. Got farms in the background, water, small town. Just kind of gives you a good feeling inside. Nice green trees, green grass. Friendly little town. I even had someone stop and talk to me for a little bit as I was flying. But it's time to um, get this thing aligned here. I got to land by some uh, power lines, so I got to get it in position just right before I bring it down. And I think we're clear for a landing.